Hello Internet, day 130 of my vlog 365 challenge. And actually, I'm here at BBC Broadcasting Centre, um, or a new broadcasting house, and I'm here uh, 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 with Mrs C, <laughs> or Miss C as I've decided to call her, I think now, on social media and stuff, uh, to uh, watch a recording of the Infinite Monkey Cage. I'm not sure when this one goes out, I will be honest, uh, and for those that haven't heard it, it's a fantastic uh, comedy, science-based comedy show, panelled by Professor Brian Cox, and the comedian that really completely surpasses my mind at this point. Point and I can't remember, it's incredibly, incredibly embarrassing. Uh, and these are uh, free tickets to go and watch it. And I've been here many, many, many times. Lovely little bar, cafe, restaurant space that I'm in at the moment. And behind me is actually the, the sort of the news space, the news floor. And then in that corner over there is actually, I can't think, I think they call it Studio 4, I think it is, uh, where they do all the main, you know, news, at, um, you know, the six sort of news and that sort of stuff. And then actually, in that corner, you can't quite see it actually, in the corner behind me there, you can, if I try and get my angles right, there we go, is where they do the weather. And all of these cameras and everything are all automated. There's actually a camera here. Because uh, many, many years ago, I think when they moved here and when they built this studio, they went to completely automated cameras. And it's all pre-recorded, time-coded to the script as to which camera's going to go where and that sort of thing. We don't have to worry about that sort of faffy stuff in radio. Because it does actually lead to a lot of very interesting bloopers. Especially where you end up, there's that famous one, I can't think of the... Uh, uh, BBC news presenter was where he was holding a pad of paper pretending it was an iPad I'm doing this I'm tapping pretending it was an iPad um, and that sort of thing uh, anyway I, I can't remember I'm not going to give you the exact link because I don't know it but I'm pretty sure if you google sort of BBC audiences you'll be able to do it and you can sign up to get email alerts when shows are released and then you can apply for shows and you get tickets there's no guarantee you have to be here early to get what's called validated so I'm here a little bit early uh, ready for validation and there's still no guarantee that we'll get it but if not, oh, the camera behind me is moving, I think. Yeah, Pre probably pre priming, I don't know. Um, but I've been here before, I've seen the uh, news quiz, I've seen News Jack, I've seen, I've seen a fair stuff here, but I can't remember what else it is. And it is great fun, and I would recommend it. Evening in London, um, go watch some free BBC radio stuff and all that sort of jazz. So I will love you and leave you, and I will see you guys tomorrow.